Chelsea, Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1. I got the scoreline right this time. Ben, <laughs> talk to me about today's game. Ecstatic. There is nothing boring about beating Tottenham. As I said, they're the joke of London. They're like, they're, there's Arsenal, then there's Tottenham. You know, Arsenal are just banter because their fans are just, they don't have no It's just play. a North London thing, isn't it's it? It's a North London thing. If, if your team's based in North London, you're automatically shit at football. It's just that kind of thing. Uh, but it, it regarding the game, you know, um, very happy with result. I think we played very well. I, I wasn't even scared at all. You know, I mean, I, mean, I saw actually tell a lie. I saw Buck in the lineup. I got scared. Uh, but I, I, I've been on his case. I've been on. I've been on his case. Yeah, I know. But I'll give him credit for for a Barkley. He had a decent game. Uh, so I'll let him off this time. But if he plays shit again, I will be back on his case. Um, but you know, Cavalero, great performance. You know, very unlucky to concede. You no, know, it was probably an absolute grotesque deflection, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, um, but every player wanted it. I think you could tell. And um, as soon as that first ball was kicked, you know, the, the players just really wanted to get them three points. They wanted to bounce back from that absolute joke of a VAR performance on Monday. And I'm speaking, speaking of VAR. I don't think VAR had a poor performance today. I mean, yeah. La should have yeah. had at least two red cards. Do you not hear? 83rd minute. Oh, we, we, we fucked up. Um, it was actually a red card. Oh, OK. I didn't yeah. Even know that, so though. congratulations, VAR. You're still a fucking joke. In fact, who bought, I don't know who bought it more, Tottenham or VAR. I think, they, I think they're the same thing, really. I never saw an entire crowd go from going mad to just hit fuming when the VAR call came up for the first goal. <laughs> we were thinking, oh, no, mate. not again. I generally thought I'd done another Ajax. Like, when in the 5 4, and I was shirtless, I was running into the crowd, jumping on people. And then obviously, VAR was I was like, oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, it's just killing football. Like, VAR, again, you just need to get it right because it's very clear. Fucking hell. Sounds like a Tottenham Someone's bike gone out. <laughs> Sounds like a Tottenham fan crying. It's not like expressions when he goes home. <laughs> oh, someone's getting roasted on Twitter. Uh, nah, blood, we lost blood. Uh, fuck Chelsea blood. Uh, uh, mate, listen, I say every time, he falls out of champagne football, that was Lambrini football. You know, it's an absolute joke. Uh, but no, let's go back into that, the main things, you know. I think every player had a good game. You know, Tammy was really unlucky not to score. Uh, Mason Mount, I think, good yeah, I think Mason Mount needs to sh like, be more um, on it. No, he seems to cut in too much. Like I think, you know, when the opportunity's there, just hit it. You know, you, you could have made it three 0 uh, killed the game off completely. But again, I'm not going to go into negative because that Chelsea performance was one of the best ones I've seen this season at home. You know, for once, for once against like a, a semi mediocre team that's playing Champions League football, I can't say Tottenham are a good club because I'll vomit all over the camera and the mic. Uh, but for a team that's got Mourinho, you know, got the tactics, um, it was spot on. And I think it's, it's Lampard. You know, Lampard's played under Mourinho for so long. He knows the tactics. He knows how Mourinho's going to line up. And he's seen, you know, teams violate the weakness. So he knows how to exploit that Mourinho part of us tactics. So, again, Lampard, great bounce back. Bring on Munich.